Yo, what's up everyone, it's Zag, and we're diving into the world of Windows today. Specifically, the tale of two operating systems, Windows 10 and Windows 11. It's been a while since Microsoft dropped Windows 11, and you know me, I gotta ask the tough questions. We've seen the sleek new interface, the centered taskbar, those fancy new widgets, it's all very well new. But here's the thing, despite all the hype around Windows 11, Windows 10 is still holding its ground strong, like really strong. So in this video, we're gonna unpack why Windows 10 remains the go-to for so many users. We'll break down the factors from compatibility to familiarity to just plain old habits. You know how we do, let's get into it. All right, let's talk compatibility. It's the foundation of any good operating system, right? And that's where things get interesting with Windows 10 and 11. Windows 10 runs on a ridiculously wide range of devices, old laptops, gaming rigs, budget PCs. Windows 11, on the other hand, came in with some stricter requirements. TPM 2.0 secure boot specific processors, it felt like a whole checklist. These requirements left some users out in the cold, unable to upgrade. Windows 10 became the default, the safe haven. People hold on to their devices for years, and Windows 10 continues to be that familiar, reliable option. Let's be real, nobody wants an operating system that crashes more than it runs, right? We've all been there. The blue screen of death, the endless loading screens, the frustration of a system that just can't seem to get its act together. Windows 10, for all its quirks, has earned its stripes in the stability department. It's been through years of updates, patches, and refinements. Microsoft's been hard at work squashing bugs, improving performance, and making sure things run smoothly. It's like that well-oiled machine, it might not be the newest, shiniest model, but it hums along, doing its thing without complaint. And that reliability, that peace of mind is priceless for a lot of users. Think about it. Businesses rely on stable systems to keep their operations running smoothly. Students need their computers to work when deadlines are looming. And gamers? Well, let's just say a mid-game crash is not a vibe. Windows 10 stability comes from years of refinement, and that makes a huge difference. It's battle-tested, it's reliable, and that's a powerful argument for sticking with what works. Alright, let's talk aesthetics. Windows 11 came in swinging with a visual overhaul, the centered taskbar, the rounded corners, the new start menu. It's a different look for sure. But here's the thing about change. It's not always easy to embrace, especially when it comes to something as fundamental as your operating system. We're creatures of habit, right? We get used to things being a certain way. Windows 10's interface, for all its familiarity, just made sense to people. The start menu in the corner, the taskbar laid out just so, it became second nature. Muscle memory even. And then Windows 11 came along and rearranged the furniture, so to speak. Now change can be good, don't get me wrong, but, for some users, it felt like an adjustment they weren't quite ready to make. It's like walking into your living room and finding out someone moved your couch and TV. You can adapt, sure, but it takes time to get used to the new layout. For many, Windows 10's familiar interface remains a comforting presence, a known quantity in a world of constant change. It's like that favorite hoodie you slip on. It's comfortable, it's familiar, and it just feels right. Let's be real. An operating system is only as good as the apps it can run, right? It's like having a state-of-the-art kitchen but no ingredients to cook with. And that's where Windows 10's broad compatibility comes into play. We're talking about those essential apps that people rely on every day, for work, for school, for creativity, for everything in between. Windows 10 has built up a massive library of compatible software over the years. And here's the thing. Not all software gets updated at the same pace as operating systems. There's a ton of legacy software out there that's still essential for some businesses and individuals. Windows 10 handles this legacy software like a champ. It's like that vintage record player that can still spin those classic vinyl records. It bridges the gap between old and new, ensuring that users aren't forced to abandon the tools they rely on. For businesses especially, this compatibility is crucial. Switching operating systems can mean re-evaluating entire software ecosystems, retraining employees, and potentially encountering compatibility nightmares. Windows 10 minimizes those risks. It's the reliable workhorse that keeps businesses running smoothly, ensuring that their essential software remains accessible and functional. It's like that trusty old pickup truck. It might not have all the bells and whistles of a brand new model, but it gets the job done day in and day out. 
Okay, let's talk updates for a second. We all know they're important, right? They keep our systems secure, they introduce new features, all that good stuff. But updates can also be a source of anxiety, especially when they bring major changes or, even worse, introduce new bugs. Windows 10 has settled into a nice rhythm with its updates. They're regular, they're generally stable, and they don't feel like a complete overhaul every time. It's like getting a fresh coat of paint on your house. It keeps things looking good and protected, without requiring a complete renovation. This predictability is a big deal for a lot of users. It means they can update their systems without worrying about major disruptions to their workflow or compatibility issues with their favorite apps. It's like that reliable friend who always shows up on time. You know what to expect, and that's a good thing. Windows 10's update cycle provides a sense of stability and control. Users know they're getting the latest security patches and improvements without feeling like they're constantly playing catch-up with a constantly evolving operating system. Chapter 6. The Comfort Zone. Why Familiarity Matters. Let's face it, we humans are creatures of habit. We like what we know, even if it's not always the newest or flashiest thing. And that familiarity plays a huge role in why people stick with what they know, even when it comes to operating systems. Windows 10 represents that familiar comfortable space for a lot of users. It's the operating system they learned on, the one they've been using for years, the one that feels like an extension of their digital lives. It's like that favorite coffee shop you always go to, you know the menu, you know the baristas, and it just feels like home. There's a certain comfort in knowing where everything is, how everything works, and not having to relearn the basics of navigating your digital world. It's like that well-worn path in the woods. It might not be the most exciting route, but it's familiar, it's comfortable, and you know it'll get you where you need to go. For many, Windows 10 represents that digital comfort zone. It's the familiar reliable companion that's seen them through countless emails, projects, and late-night browsing sessions. Chapter 7. Switching Costs, Time, Effort, and the Learning Curve Let's not underestimate the effort involved in switching operating systems. It's not just about clicking a download button and calling it a day. It's about adapting to a new interface, relearning shortcuts, and potentially troubleshooting compatibility issues. It's like moving to a new city. It takes time to learn the streets, find your favorite spots, and feel truly settled. And that learning curve, that adjustment period, can be a deterrent for some users. Think about it. Time is precious. People have busy lives and spending hours or even days migrating their data, reinstalling apps and figuring out a new operating system can feel like a daunting task. Windows 10 represents a known quantity. It's the operating system they already know how to use, the one that integrates seamlessly with their existing workflow. Sticking with Windows 10 minimizes those switching costs, allowing users to focus on what matters most to them. It's like taking the familiar route to work instead of trying a new shortcut. The familiar route might take a bit longer, but it's predictable, it's stress-free, and you know it'll get you there without any surprises. Chapter 8. The Extended Support Safety Net Let's talk about peace of mind for a second. Knowing that your operating system is supported, that it's receiving security updates and patches, is a big deal. It's like having a reliable insurance policy for your digital life. Microsoft's extended support for Windows 10 through 2025 is a huge factor in its continued popularity. It's like having a safety net, a guarantee that your system will remain secure and supported for the foreseeable future. This extended support gives users the confidence to stick with Windows 10 without feeling like they're missing out on crucial updates or putting their systems at risk. It's like having a car with a long warranty. You can drive it with confidence knowing that you're covered if anything goes wrong. Microsoft's commitment to supporting Windows 10 for an extended period reassures users that they're not being rushed into an upgrade. It's a smart move that fosters trust and loyalty among its user base. Outro the Windows 10 Legacy So there you have it, the reasons why Windows 10 continues to thrive in a world that's rapidly embracing Windows 11. From compatibility and stability to familiarity and extended support, Windows 10 has earned its place as a reliable and beloved operating system. It's not about declaring one operating system superior to the other. It's about recognizing the factors that influence user choices, and understanding why Windows 10 remains the preferred option for so many. Now I want to hear from you. Are you rocking Windows 10 or have you made the switch to Windows 11? What are your thoughts on both operating systems? 
hit that comment section and let's get the conversation going. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insights. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.